So, hey, uh, amazing things are happening. I, I said something that um, I actually announced it before it was true. But um, this poker tournament this afternoon that I've, I've advertised, <laughs> um, I, I, I can't divert the funds from this. This is for a different charity, and it was too late. But um, I am going to go. Uh, so this is not going to support the Travel Colt 45's independent 30-plus baseball, amateur baseball. We're going to travel around the nation. Every other weekend, we will select the top 15 players and play in select tournaments all year. And it's going to be sponsored by Mass Enterprises and also um, by a charity event like this that we will, it's $250 a head, and these guys just love to gamble. We'll easily fill this with 100 people, and that's going to, that's going to pay for that's going to pay for our travel expenses. And I can't wait. I'm blessed beyond measure. You haters are going to hate. Mr. Mike, I want to book this place and I want to enlist your help. We'll, Can we'll, we find we'll, a date? Let's wait till the day is over and then we will talk to Roy and make it happen. Okay. God bless you, man. This is awesome. That's Mike Broussard, my longtime Houston friend. Guys, you can't fuck with good. You can, I mean, if you do good things, good things come back. So I'm getting an, an immense number of phone calls from people that I don't know other coaches and other leaders that that are that have sincere leadership skills not weakness i still can't believe the commissioner hasn't talked to me joe that's just so weak what's what's wrong with you my cell phone is 713-823-2143 don't talk to me just go you're dismissed okay you're fired just like i ejected that umpire um but I'm not mad because I am forging so many new relationships just from your guys' uh, improper action. You know, I could sue you for disparagement and all this other stuff, but I don't do that. I don't do that. Beauty from ashes, the phoenix rises. Um, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing oh good? Gosh, you look so beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're playing? Good luck. Yes, I'm an alternate though. I got here late. Um, so, um, I bet I'm going to get laid tonight. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is exciting. I, I can't wait to see how much that is raised today, but it's $250 and then all these guys are going to buy in again after they lose and men just love this. So the, the, you don't even have to be a baseball player. I know some of the guys that we sponsor on my team, you know, they struggle financially in the beginning of their career, young families, it's expensive to live these days. So I'm excited to, to announce the Houston Amateur Baseball Charity Poker Tournament. And we're, we're gonna do it, we're gonna rock it. We're gonna rock it, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And the beauty of this is right now, the time is, and I'm pretty tired because I've been at it since really early. <clears throat> That's what winners do. You're gonna win so much, you're gonna get tired of winning. Um, the beautiful thing about this event is that these guys are making it a business. A lot of construction guys here from the from the uh, sprinkler from Mike's. Wonderful. So this is business during the business day. So you can play hooky during the business day, but you're actually networking. This, pardon me. I mean, what a godsend. We're going to schedule another one to benefit Houston. Uh, Amateur baseball, we're Colt 45's uh, 30 plus division. We play competitive hardball. We travel around the country in tournaments. We're a premier organization. That's up and coming. Joe, you can come back. You're a good man, but you're just misguided. You've been tricked. Wonderful. Would you guys, how would you like, if I invited you to play in our charity tournament that's gonna raise money for our players to, to travel and play baseball? How would we invite you? Email? I don't know. Yeah, Get Mike. Mike probably. Like I'm gonna let Mike. I'm gonna let Mike do it. Okay. He's organized this. This is incredible. Yeah. There's gonna be a hundred guys. Yeah, that's how I, 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 I like signed up this morning, and I'm I'm third alternate. Yeah, your best your best case is, is just going to Mike because yeah. he's bringing he's this all. Done deal, area. Kelly. You're not even gonna have to do anything. And look, we got the wonderful catering. Thank you guys. I appreciate it.
I look forward to taking your money in a little while. All right. <laughs> I win at poker too. They don't want to fucking play me in poker. You should have seen the auctioneer the other day when I was at the auction buying antiques. I love antiques. Fried chicken. So I was literally, they, they have, on, there's online, so there's people on the internet bidding for this stuff, and I'm there in person. So you can feel it better. You can touch it, feel it when you're in person. And so I was, I literally made like $50,000 for the auction house by increasing the bids, by bidding, and my animation, and my passion. Um, but I was just reeling them in, and I was, literally, I was literally doing the fishing. I was going like this, and auctioneer, she can see me, right? But the people on the internet can't see me, so I'm like, I would bid. I would bid in a, I would like reeling him in and I'm reeling him in, I'm reeling him in, I'm reeling him in, reeling him, reeling him, reeling him. And she knew what was, I, was, I was doing and she's like, thank you, thank you. She gave me uh, thousands of dollars of merchandise <laughs> because I literally increased the bids, just games and shit. And she said during a live auction, and I should see if it's recorded because it's quite a compliment. She's an amazing auctioneer. She's very talented. And she said, I, during the live auction, during the live auction, she's like, Jason, I asked, I will never, ever, ever play poker with you. I'd marry you, but I will never play poker. <laughs> uh, I'm blessed. Um, hey, is it an open bar or cash bar? Open. Oh, cool. I would like a water with lemon, please. Yes, I'm going to have some cocktails, but not now. I'm tired. Um, what else? Oh, on the 27th in Detroit, we have uh, the Kansas City Royals where my assistant, who I recruited out of Kansas City, uh, she's beautiful. Um, I don't know how to send a video of, I just have some photographs that we went to the game. We dressed in the Astros. She's going to dress in her hometown, Kansas City Royals, in my hometown of Detroit. I'll be a Detroit home team. And, you know, she's gorgeous. And so um, we got to pick a charity to benefit because I could literally get our picture taken a thousand times and on the news. Um, so I, I got to come up with... Um, Cause I just do it. It's a lot of fun. My hometown, I know everybody there. Um, and we're doing a movie. Uh, we're, we're, we're making a movie. And, uh, yeah, what's your rum? Uh, I just have to write it. Bacardi, just have to write it. Uh, Captain Morgan. So that's the 27th. You'll see us. We'll be behind the Detroit Tigers dugout. And then we'll, we'll alternate to behind the Kansas City Royals dugout. And it's going to be, it's just so much fun. It's just so much fun. And my assistant's amazing. When you guys interact with me on a business, I, I, you have to go through my assistant. I'm just, I got too much going on. Um, today, I'm at Lifetime Fitness and I'm working from there. And um, while all you haters are doing your thing, you do whatever you do, fuck you. Um, I had, a, I had a, 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 a meeting. Ten months I've been working on getting this client. And I just decided in my heart of hearts this morning, I said, okay, they requested an 11 a.m. meeting today. I... And in my prayer and meditation, I said, I am going to take 100% of the revenue that we get from this client, and that's going to sponsor the Colt 45s for national travel, the most select amateur baseball, premier organization. I'm going to be the leader. Hopefully, I can still keep playing first base and contributing. Um, but I really look forward to it, man. So that happened, and so I'm, I'm, I'm on the sales call. It's 30 minutes, 30 minutes, and I'm like... I got done with the sales call and there's this beautiful woman executive that also was working there and she's like, that was the most intense, passionate, perfect sales call that I have ever, ever heard. Yeah. So I have a meeting with their uh, CFO tomorrow to close the deal. And I believe this is a godsend. Thank you for the haters that are creating this opportunity. When you guys shut those doors with do drugs and charades, other ones open, and they're severely awesome. Keep the faith, men. Stay strong. And I haven't done anything wrong. If I did anything wrong, it was to be ejected from the game, which was a judgment call. A couple of the umpires, who I respect, Bobby Madima, uh, he said, yes, I would have ejected you because I said you're a terrible umpire. But, um, so that's my punishment and that's the end of it. But Joe, you have allowed this to exacerbate. You have allowed it to escalate. But God works in mysterious ways and he's powerful. You keep the faith like my players all have. And the other coaches, we're gonna play. <laughs> I'm getting calls from, the, from other teams in the HBA and, and, and the Houston Harbor League that, hey, we'll still play you. I'm just gonna rent the field. I'll pay for it. I'm blessed. This money is gonna go for that. 
and uh, I'll pay for the umpires. I'm going to pay him more than 80 bucks. Because fuck you, Joe. Um, and I'm going to train the umpires. It's important. You can't get umpires that are quality out there, only a few of them, because of your weak leadership. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Keeping it clean. You're a good man, Joe. But you really fucked with the wrong guy. But man, do I feel energized. Look at that. God bless you guys. God bless you guys. Stay strong.